Jeff from our sales team is my kind of guy. He makes his bed like this, but he cable manages computer like this. He buys the cheapest furniture from Ikea, but then covers it in only the finest collectibles. Nice. This is his light switch, and this is his lamp. He cleans his figurines like this, and his uh -huh. floor like this. I swear, I swear that wasn't for me just now. <laughs> so with all of that in mind, I'm sure you guys are dying to know if Jeff was given $5,000 to spend on an Intel Extreme Tech upgrade, what on earth would he choose? Well, Intel, obviously. Yeah. And then the rest we'll figure out as we go. the gate, there's a couple of things I've noticed. Mm -hmm. First of which is that you already have a sick gaming computer. Yeah, it's not bad. Why did you focus so much of your budget on more gaming computer? I mean, I really like the anime collaborations they've been coming out with, like Asus and MSI, and I thought I'd just kind of capitalize. I feel like, I don't know, I really like anime, and I thought I'd buy a bunch of their parts. All right, you spoiled my second theme, and that is that basically everything you got is a computer brand collabing with Evangelion, and I'm going to reveal... Um, Evangelion, by the way. Yeah, yeah, so I don't need to reveal that I am not cultured when it comes to anime, and I have no idea what the hell Evangelion is. Yeah. You have some Evangelion yeah. to show me? I do. Okay, well, let's start with that. Not this. That, that the special thing? Oh, there's a special thing. There's a special thing. So I should, I should close my eyes I or would what? close your eyes. I would okay. close your eyes. You would close my eyes. I could. It's a special. I got a special yeah. permission. Special permission. From Colton and HR. Wait, from Colton and HR? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, there's a thing that people get sometimes called a Daki Makra or a body pillow, and they typically put like their favorite anime character on it. Oh, God. I got one of these. Are guys. you kidding me? It's pretty life size, almost the same height. And then, wait, dual purpose. Bam! What do you think? Oh my god. Um, so, mm. there's that. Uh, what yeah. does this have to do with Evangelion? <laughs> Nothing at all. I just thought I'd really lean into the whole like weeb theme and got myself a body pillow of my boss and my other boss. Cool. All right, I'm gonna put this, actually, I'm not gonna put this in the bed. That makes me extremely uncomfortable. I'm gonna sure? put it here. Okay. Well, you've succeeded at throwing me off. You and Sarah officially win the game. Let's go. What is Evangelion? <laughs> Evangelion is an anime from the 1990s. I mean, I wanna, like, I wanna see it though. Oh, you wanna see it? Yeah, like, do you have Evangelion uh, oh, I don't. DVDs or like? I don't, I'm not that big of a fan. To have the DVDs, I just watch it on Netflix. Literally half of what we're building today is Evangelion themed. So if I have no idea what it is, I'm gonna be lost. Is this a fidget spinner on your keyboard? <laughs> what is wrong with you? You know when you're queuing for games, you need something to fiddle around with while you're waiting? I mean, there you go. At least you're not fiddling around with your body pillow. Yeah, no. This is the last scene of the anime. Uh-huh. Essentially, it's about this guy. Um, his name is Sinji. He's one of three kids, essentially, that pilot these robots and they fight each other like Godzilla style. Uh -huh. And each episode is effectively like Monster of the Week. Okay. At the end of the series, they essentially ran out of budget. And so the last three episodes are just like PowerPoint presentations of just like storyboard drawings. Really? Yeah. Um, but people love it. Like people get like really into like the theming and that's a big cult following. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's build a computer. Let's do it. I don't want to come across judgy, but I do feel like I need to open this build by warning that the best way to shop for computer hardware is not, in fact, uh, based on the color scheme. Oh. Yeah, you've, um, <laughs> <laughs> you've gone and you've paired uh, a 12th gen K series processor with a B660 motherboard that isn't gonna allow you to do any overclocking all in the name of that it's purple. And it does look freaking awesome. Look at the back too. But I just can't, yeah. I can't in good conscience recommend that people buy hardware based on a cool silkscreen graphic on the back where they will never, ever, 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 ever see it versus based on features and performance and value. How much did this thing cost? That's a wonderful question. I actually have no idea. Is it Evangelion themed? Cart. 
cart, cart, as easy as that. Thank you, Intel. The upcharge on this motherboard has got to be more than the entire cost of the table I'm building it on. 100%. Oh my God, I'm afraid to find out how much you just paid for a B660 motherboard. Can't be that bad. 420 US dollars. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sick. You can get B660 boards for less than 200. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> With that said, one of the things I left out of the intro is that, you know, clearly Buddy here doesn't mind paying twice as much for something because of the label on it. I like shoes. What are my your favorite shoes? shoes? Oh my gosh, they're hidden away in storage somewhere. Oh, that's right. This is a temporary living arrangement, by the way, before you guys judge me for how little money our salespeople obviously make. Oh, no offense to the people whose house this is. Hopefully they won't watch this video. Oh God. Well, the walls could use a coat of paint. That's all I'm saying. I'm told that you do painting. Not today. Okay. We banned painting Intel Extreme Tech upgrades after Andy's house. Okay. No, you can get this board for only like 220 bucks. It was just a third party seller. I think this might be EOL. Yeah. How long have you been sitting on these parts? Probably like six months. Performance is temporary. Purple is forever. Uh, right, maybe? Mm. Okay, yeah. all right. Uh, Jeff's gone with 32 gigs of 5200 mega transfer per second DDR5 memory and a 12 core Core i7-12700K. So it's a weird thing where we're going premium in terms of the tier of parts that we're using, but kind of like step down in terms of the actual performance. <laughs> Uh, 5200 mega transfer per second, that's a pretty decent kit. 12700K, it's a really good CPU, but not top of the line. And we've gone with a B660 motherboard, but with a sick colorway that if we hadn't chosen, we could have gotten something uh, that is overclocking capable. <laughs> you know what? I like it. It makes for a fun video. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, where'd you get one of those screwdrivers? LTTstore.com. Wow. We're finally shipping the black shaft ones, which means that we're getting close to the end of taking orders for them. If you guys want to get one of the ones with the black shaft, you're going to want to get an order in pretty quick, get in the queue. And for our SSD, we'll be installing it in the top slot closest to the CPU. And we've gone with a crucial P5 Plus with two terabytes of capacity. Oh no. Uh, nope, Brandon, roll. I'm rolling. I've got some bad news, dude. Are you serious? Look at your socket. Do you see that? Damn. This has like 10 to 15 pins that look bent in it. That's so cool. Out of 10, how bad do you think this is? Oh, that's very bad. Do you have a magnifying glass? Maybe. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Let's do some motherboard surgery. I also don't have all of my best tools for something like this. I think I'm actually gonna use my knife. Uh, I could use a bit more light though. What it looks like to me is that they've been pressed down. And the good news is that's a relatively simple fix. All I need to do is get under each of these pins and lift it up just a little tiny bit without breaking it. If I can do that successfully 15 more times without making a single mistake, then we're good. I believe in you. Mm. This would not have made contact with the bottom of the CPU. Oh, oh, got it. Man, the temptation to go fast when you've got this many of them to do is very strong. Patience is a virtue. Hate socket surgery. I want to clarify that I don't know whose fault this is. It could have come like this from the factory, but it could have also happened later. Hopefully you'll never have to do this, but a pro tip if you ever do is use light and angles. It's so helpful when you're trying to find something that's ever so slightly misaligned compared to just trying to look at it from one side. Okay. Whew, I think we're good to go. Great job. Well, don't congratulate me yet, it hasn't <laughs> turned on. Next we'll be needing our power supply, mm, wall art. I wonder if Displate licensed that. We don't work with them anymore, but apparently we still shop there. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be needing our case. Ah, also Evangelion. What is this? Is that a power supply? Okay, well, you have two power supplies? They gave me two power supplies when I left the office. Why do you have two Evangelion power supplies? Yeah. You may <laughs> not be very good with your money. Maybe not, but hey. At least we have them, just in case. You should have had two motherboards, <laughs> just in case you had a broken motherboard. Oh my God, how much does this one cost? This one I actually do know the cost of. <laughs> um, at um, Canada Computers, I think it was $1,700, I think. It was a different time. I feel very bad for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> got some six speakers. This desk is nice. Where'd this come from? Ikea. Oh. It's RG stuff. Of course it is. Mm-hmm. Because it's all about the brand. Of course. This is the AIO. I was wondering where this one was. 
Oh my God, you've got an Evangelion cooler. It's okay though, because his job is to take other people's money, not to spend it. There you go. Yeah, if you were in like our procurement department or something though, <laughs> I would have some serious reservations. Like we need some new workstations. <laughs> they come in, they're all like purple and green. Buddy, we paid 30% more for these. Yeah, but they're purple. That's well, purple. <laughs> Look how cool they are. But maybe the theming they've done on this is really cool. Tell me about what I'm looking at here. Well, it's purple. It's got a couple of Japanese text on it. Do you read any Japanese? Like, no. are you that into it? No, not really. No, nope, not, okay. Not I mean, that's pretty cool. Another one of the mechs in the anime. I'm teasing him a lot today, but the truth is, don't tell him, this is a pretty cool build and it's gonna look absolutely sick when we're done. Oh, hi, Jeff. Hi. Your build is dumb. Okay. Thanks, Intel. While I'm working on this, mm -hmm. you're gonna pick which power supply you're using today and maybe just unbox it here. You got it. The packaging on that alone is probably worth more than the table we're building this computer on. <laughs> yeah, very easily, very easily. It's like the Thor 1000 watt one. It has a little display on it too. <laughs> and it's red. Switching it up a little bit. Wait, what's going on here? What's up? Red cables? Yeah. You're gonna put red cables in a purple and green themed computer? You don't like it? Do you? Sure. <laughs> I thought the whole point was that everything's purple. Well, this came out in red. The other one's red too? Yeah, there's like um, a white and blue one, I think. But the box is purple and green. No, this one's purple and green and just black. Oh, we're gonna put them to the test. The test? Do you take the basic 650 watt power supply that matches the color scheme or the balls to the wall 1000 watt power supply that's gonna put red all over it? I'll take the red. You'll take the, okay. I'll take the red, I'll take the red. Aesthetic, it's okay. At this point, at this point, we'll just. So you're saying I've shamed you enough. Enough, yes. That, <laughs> that is the idea here, I think. Honestly though, I think that's even worse. Is it? Because now you've made it clear that it's not even about it looking good. Now it's just about the label. That's about it. Now I'm worried that the packaging on the graphics card is gonna be a lie too, and you're gonna have a giant red graphics card. No! Oh, we're good. So this isn't even just an ASUS thing. How'd they bung up the power supply? Cause that looks freaking sick. My biggest problem with this table is not even the quality, it's the size. Don't worry, we're doing great today. We got this, man. Is this one colored red? I hope not. Oh, this just isn't really colored anything. Okay, cool. Ooh, that looks pretty cool though. Oh, sitting on it? Yeah. It's exactly the right height to sit at this desk. I actually don't know if I wanna know the answer to this question. That's okay. Why do you need that pillow? I don't really need the pillow. I thought it'd be really funny. Do you actually intend to keep that pillow 100%. in the long term? 100%, absolutely. I see. Wasn't it back in the day in the old videos we had the other body pillow in the office? Yes. I don't know what happened to that. We decided it had gotten a little too cringe. And a little too cringe? We got rid of it, yeah. Okay. No worries, I thought I would uh, bring back those old memories with this one yeah. actually, that's okay. why. Yeah, okay. What does your SO think of that pillow? Oh, she loves it. Her parents though think it's super weird. I'm with her parents. Okay. All I right. think what we've got here is a generational <laughs> <laughs> The height's pretty close to your height, I mean. It's definitely Colton's height. Look at me, I'm Colton Potter. Look at me down here. Do you guys like chairs? Subscribe to Short Circuit. <laughs> That's a really good Colton impression. Yeah. Does it make you uncomfortable having Colton for a boss though? One day you're gonna come into the office and just he's not gonna work there anymore and you're that's, gonna have no idea what to do. That's fine, I have seniority, so I mean, I get his office next. Why is this eight pin CPU connector long enough to run to a completely separate computer on the other side of the room? See, the other one's fine. I, well, whoa! Oh my God. Nope, we're good, we're good. Yeah. This is a good table okay. quality. I don't know if I have enough space down here to put the PSU cables in here. Oh my God. This power supply is the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. I feel like the Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade meme here, like you have chosen unwisely here. <laughs> you, you had the one that fits and matches, but no, Jeff, no. <laughs> you wanted this one. You can go with the other power supply or you can rip out your hard drive cages knowing that you're only ever gonna be able to expand with two and a half inch or M.2 drives, which are gonna be SSDs. I think that's fine. I think I could probably live with that. Oh, it's a bit of a pain in the butt to get at it though. That's okay. Well, yeah, for you, I'm the one doing it. <laughs> you know what they say, you win some, you dim some, right? Come on, buddy. Hey! There you go. Very cool. So much room for activities now. Go ahead and that's put that good. in there. You got it. There we go. Oh, hold on a second. Are you gonna have this on the floor or are you gonna have it on the desk? I'll probably have it on the desk. Okay, then flip it over. Like uh, this? Oh, he's working on it. This one? That is exactly how you had it when we started. 
Like this. There we go. Because in the this display, you'd want it on this side. No? It's made to be right side. Oh, you want the display? Yeah. <sighs> it's all part of the aesthetic. Okay, fine. Okay. Just who needs to have any actual airflow <laughs> to the power supply fan <laughs> anyway? Not gonna lie, Jeff. I'm not a huge fan of what you've done with the cable management for the power supply here. This is quite um, twisted. You gotta keep you on your toes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thank you for that. Aw, oh, Jeff, why you gotta run the HD audio like that? Did I? Aw. Oh. You done f***ed up, dog. Here it goes. Man, as a centerpiece for a build, does that GPU work or what? Whoa! It looks kinda awesome, hey? The red is killing my vibe a okay. little bit. Okay, all right. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, yeah, cover that up. We don't want, we don't want the people looking at this. Here, no, no, I'll show them, I'll show them. Ow, my fingers oh, in there. I'm so sorry. I mean... Ah, uh, okay, don't look that closely. It's bad GBs to close this up, so I'm not going to, but theoretically, we are finished the computer build, which nice. means it's time to start setting up the desk. You screwed up. What? What do you mean? Nicole has a more anime monitor than you. That's right, oh my god, she has like the Gundam one, doesn't yeah. she? What is this crap? I mean, I got this from the Christmas party last year, so I thought, I'm gonna save a little bit of money. <laughs> Let's put it towards and the <laughs> I'm gonna save money on unnecessary anime crap. And I'm gonna spend it on unnecessary anime crap. You bought that pillow. How much was that pillow? Uh, from what Matt told me, like 150 bucks US. Uh, yeah, no, I'm serious. Did you actually use your budget on that? Uh, Colton said you don't have to. What? Yeah, and that's what he told me. He's like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's funny for the video. What? <laughs> that's part of the budget. No, I'm repoing some oh stuff. Oh my goodness. I want this. You can have it. I want this. That's fine. If it didn't come from his Intel budget, then I <laughs> paid for it. Who does Colton think he is? Hello? Is this Colton Potter? Hey man, how you doing? Got you on speaker. Jeff informed me that the body pillow apparently did not count towards his Intel budget because, and I quote, Colton said it would be funny for the video. Did I buy that $150 pillow? Yeah, dude, how funny was it? Did you chuckle? You piece of <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank you for the pillow. Um, yeah, you're, you're welcome, I guess. I wasn't gonna question your choice of speakers. These Mackies are super nice. Oh, you're gonna hate this. Oh my God. <laughs> An orange? <laughs> no! <laughs> we had a good thing going on with all purple and green and then Asus done bunged it up with red, and then they done bunged it up again with orange. <laughs> is that an Eve mouse pad as well? Uh, yeah, yeah it, it is. is. It is, yeah. What? Yeah. Wow. This is coming together, I'm liking it. And you know what? The fidget spinner's grown on me here. Yeah? It's got a nice <laughs> bearing in it. Fidgeting, this is really efficient fidgeting. Do you watch a lot of like TV shows and movies on your computer? Why did you go with these like six speakers? I asked Matt what would be good speakers, and he recommended these ones. And they don't match anything. Not at all, no. If you're down for quick and dirty cable management, I actually really like the approach that this desk from Ikea takes. Basically, you just got this like pouch at the bottom and you just jam everything into it. And then there's this slit along the top so things can either come around the back or they can come up through the desk a little bit closer. Makes it a lot easier to keep things tidy on the top. Can we fire this up? Let's do it. Moment of truth, let's go. Oh no. Did yeah. you plug in the power supply at all? Yeah, yeah. Is the switch off? Yeah, and the switch is off. Okay. Okay. Oh no. That's what did you do, Jeff? What do you mean? Oh my God, Jeff. Well, I see at least one power connector that's not plugged into anything in here. Oh, that's so cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, here's another one. Ah, yes. <laughs> <sighs> Happy little accidents, right? Are you trying to stress me out here, man? Okay. Oh, that's a good sign. Three, two, one. Let's go. Yes! Let's go, and it's purple! Okay, that looks so good. Hello, do you happen to know where the antennas are for the motherboard by chance? Antennas, you say? Yes, uh, it has Wi-Fi built into it, and I have no ethernet in this room. You have no ethernet, no, and you so... didn't think to solve that with an Intel Extreme Tech upgrade. No, 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 no. I'm disappointed. Yeah. Jeff's Wi-Fi is broken. I wasn't able to connect to it earlier on my phone, but I didn't really think too much of it. And now, we can't connect to it on the computer. Hmm. Looks like we're going on a side quest. Let's do it. Wait, this is as far as we're going? That's your Wi-Fi access point? Yeah, that's the one. So because of how old the house is and how like thick the foundation is, Wi-Fi doesn't really travel between the floors. And so the best way to do it is like Wi-Fi repeater, mesh network kind of dealio. This isn't even power line. This is just a repeater. 
Oh, did you not watch Nicole's Extreme Tech Upgrade? <laughs> she has a better monitor than you, and she has a better solution to getting Wi-Fi to the upstairs than you. Yeah. If your Wi-Fi reception is bad for your device, mm. your Wi-Fi reception for your repeater is bad. But this was working before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The first thing we can do then is just try unplugging it and plugging it back in. Okay, okay. I'll do that. You, okay. you stay there. All right. I don't think I can trust you to configure the Wi-Fi. <sighs> okay, alrighty. Should I restart the computer at all? Do I just stand look pretty? Hey guys, welcome to Short Circuit. My name is Colm Potter. We're gonna be unboxing this chair, the Razer Isker. Oh man, look at the look at the lumbar support. Look how far it goes. Hey, get her done. <laughs> <laughs> get her done is totally his catchphrase. <laughs> Wait, using Wi-Fi for the setup wasn't an option at all because your drivers weren't detected. Oh. Are we gonna have to drag this whole thing downstairs, go through the setup process and then bring it back up? We're in the living room now. <laughs> Getting through the Windows 11 setup wizard. Yes, I'm sure there's a workaround. Yes, I could have looked that up, but this was probably faster. Let's go, here we go, we got this. No problem. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Since we're here anyway, I guess we could show off the next part of the Extreme Tech Upgrade. Mm. The A80J 65 inch OLED TV that is gonna be replacing this fine other different TV. Yeah, it could be better. I would ask why Jeff went OLED, but I already know the answer. Vibrant colors, perfect blacks, near instantaneous pixel response times. And I would ask why he went Sony, but I already know the answer. Oh, watch out with that. Oh, wow, there's a fan up there. Sony uses Android TV, which is great because you can install Android apps. Uh, their processors could be a little bit faster though. And the other benefit of Sony is they have excellent, oh wow, there's a, some stuff going on here. <laughs> excellent image processing. And what's super cool is this is one of their TVs that have what they call Acoustic Surface Audio Plus, which basically means the entire front surface of the TV vibrates, mm. and it can either be standalone or a center channel speaker in a surround setup, which is really cool. Sick. And we're on the Wi-Fi. Let's go. Let's go. You're gonna take this back upstairs now that it has an internet connection, and I am going to try to get this TV removed from this wall. Okay. We got a plan. Sounds good. Teamwork makes the dream work. Maybe. Oh. Did I just break that? Yeah, you did. Uh-oh. What is it? It's okay. It's just a keychain. Oh, it's a keychain. Oh, oh, it's, no, no, these pieces are just glued together in the first yeah. place anyway. Okay, Jeff, I'm tasking you with something for your okay. in-laws here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, get some wood glue. Put this on here, put it in a vise, and then it'll actually be as good as new. Very okay, cool. Good. Thank um, you very much. Put that there. <laughs> Appreciate it. Ah! <laughs> now let's pull this out. Oh, this one's, he this is not secured. Have fun. Okay. Uh, no, I mean, that means it's gonna be fast to remove, actually. Jeff, don't go anywhere. Uh, One, two, three, lift. That yeah. was it. Wow. That was the whole thing. Oh my God, that was so hard. I sincerely hope that the hardware on this TV will work perfectly with the new TV with no modifications whatsoever. I sincerely hope it. I don't believe it, but I hope it. Yes, we're good. This is gonna go straight on easy peasy. Oh, I love it. You're good. Is it on? I think so. How sure are you? Uh, very. What do you mean you think so? You can't think so. It is on. You're good. Take a look. See. Okay. All right. Let's go. Woo! Your Wi-Fi is really slow, I dude. I know, I know. We're getting Steam installed, but in the meantime, mm, what's the deal with this shelf? I kind of just had a shelf available and sticking some stuff on here, but I didn't really know where to put it. That's as far as I got. Wow. Yeah. Are you gonna put a shelf with command strips? Yeah. yeah. Wait, oh. what? Well, nothing heavy on it, you know? I was probably gonna put like, I don't know, like a figure or two on there. It's not gonna be anything heavy. I wouldn't put any valuable figures on it. No, not really. It's, it's okay. Yeah, don't worry, about don't worry about that. I think it looks pretty good. I think you're good. Put it on okay. there. So right there? Yes, please. Okay, because this one's permanent. We ran out of magnets. This one's got a command strip on it, which theoretically, you know, is easy on the wall, but in practice, Mm. <laughs> is Steam finally installed on this thing? Yes! yes okay. All right, let's get signed in. Let's run some games. What was your old machine spec again? 1070. Oh. Used. I did a video on uh, LTT like months ago talking about how I got it used for like 300 bucks, I think. Something like that, Canadian. So this was a big upgrade for you. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, what's a game you couldn't play before then? Uh, Cyberpunk for sure. You got your desk all set up and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. your bed is, um, well, in some ways it's better. Yeah, it's better. In other ways, it's gotten a lot worse. I don't know what's weirder, me sitting here next to it or him sitting next to it. Let's freaking go. Oh, I am 
You're a block. Wow, you're really good at games, Jeff. I try my best. How's it running? Very, very, very fast. Oh, ultra? Okay. Sick, sick, sick. Yeah, we're doing all right. This looks so good. Can I fight people? Yeah. Almost definitely. Wow, I mean, that's not who you're supposed to fight. Oh my they'll, god. They'll come, they'll come to me. Crime they'll, reported. They'll come to me. So you're just gonna fight the entire police force? Yes. Let's see, is this, is this is, a, an unofficial survival mode? Uh, I'd like to hope so, yes. And we've unofficially survived yet another Intel Extreme Tech upgrade. Hope you guys enjoyed getting to know Jeff from the sales team. And I hope what you didn't take away from this is any guidelines for how to manage your finances. <laughs> Thanks, Intel. Thank you, Intel. As always, Intel delivers an amazing gaming experience, even if you bought your CPU six months ago. You guys can check them out at the link in the video description. Ah. You're, going, you're going down, man. Ah. You're going no, down. No, no, Look, they got the no, mech. No, 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 it's okay. They're coming after you with a mech. See, you know you're putting that bad energy out there. If you were to able to support me, you know, pat me on the back a little bit, maybe I would have lived, but you know, it is what it is. There, there. <laughs>